In this video, we're going to take a look at what happens when you reparameterize an edit curve by arc length. And so what we're going to do is recreate this Pentagon demo down here in the bottom by starting with a rectangle. So if we go to edit curve and take a look at our rectangle, we've got, say, a few too many points down here. So what we're going to do is delete some of these. So we'll get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one and that one. And now we can slide these points around kind of put them where they should probably go on this curve. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to you know, generally recreate where these things are. Now you'll notice that because the U parameters were inherited from whichever point we started with, these haven't updated. And so there's you know, a lot of U here, there's some broad spacing all the way around these two points. It's not quite what we're after. So what we'll do, is we can go to reparameterize by arc length right here. And so what it's gonna do is based on each segment between each control point, it's gonna say, what is the arc length of that? And it's gonna reparameterize the U values and set it up so that it's a bit more of an even space. Now you can see that that wasn't you know, a perfect solution. So what's happening here? Well, what's happening is it's starting from u equals zero on the right side, and it's trying to give it an even distribution of these points. So you'll notice that it's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, etc. Now, if we had our spin, kind of like we did down here, that adjusted these a little bit backwards, then these would all align just like they would down here. But let's say we don't want to mess with spin at all. We know that the zero coordinate and the one coordinate are right here on the right side, but we want something symmetric on the other side. In that case, we want this control point right here to be at 0.5. So let's set that to 0.5. Now, if we did that and then went to reparameterize again, it would erase everything that we did. Here's how we fix that. Right here, there's a button that lets you fix the U coordinate of this point. So anytime you adjust it, say reparameterize by arc length, it will leave that alone and adjust the distribution in the middle. Now watch what happens. We click that. And it's assuming that we have some points down here in the corner, a nice even distribution here, and then an even loft on the upper side with our control points on the left and right corresponding to the 0 and 0.5 locations on this circle. Now that's not too bad, but you'll notice, particularly because we have our uh, W parameter on this stack turned in such a way that we're clipping these corners. This isn't exactly where we want. So we can fix that by understanding that somewhere in here there's an even cut between 0 and 0.5. And that happens to be at about 1 8 and 3 8 if we want to do it that way. We can adjust it a little bit, but effectively we're trying to give this a nice, easily divisible value where the interpolated points that come through here and here and here have somewhere to go so that one of these interpolated lines falls smack on the corner. Now we have nice sharp edges and we don't have those little chamfers cutting off a piece of our geometry. And so that's one of the ways that you can use reparameterize by arc length to fix some of those problems. Now I'll demonstrate one additional piece. If we come to say split pick and I'm going to split it down here. So right now it doesn't look like anything happened. But watch this. I'm going to cram this right up by this control point. Now you can see that because we have an additional point here, it took all of those U values in between the two and it smashed them up to that point. Now, you might think that that's a bit rough and that um, we don't really want to do that. But if we just go reparameterize by arc length again, you can see that it relofts all those U coordinates and redistributes. And so all you really have to do is come back and find those corners for the bottom again, and you're fine. So the addition of that extra point on that curve effectively doesn't mess up your U distribution. So that's how you can use reparameterize by arc length to change the distribution of the surface panels and where those end up lying on your uh, adjacent cross sections.